Now, I don't know what I'm going to title this video. I know this is like a little recap of the game yesterday, the Giants' big win yesterday, the biggest Giants win since 2016. Some people say since our last Super Bowl. But we're going to talk about the New York Giants. We're going to talk about Daniel Jones, baby Josh Allen, primetime dimes. We're going to talk about Kayvon Thibodeau, the dominant force of the New York Giants defense. We're going to talk about Saquon Barkley, who looked like Saquon Barkley in yesterday's game. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to Bad Dog. Had to go out there and buy me a, you know, a little pair of shades, you know, trying to block out the light. But let's talk about Daniel Jones first. And I need to take, I'm going to take the glass off of this. <laughs> Primetime Dimes was in full effect in yesterday's game. That first half was perfectly played by Daniel Jones. We could see straight out the gate what was the game plan for the Giants offense. We we're going to get the ball out of Daniel Jones' hands quick. We we're going to make sure that the pass rush of the uh, Washington Commanders didn't get back there. We we're going to try our best to keep, you know, Daniel Jones on his feet. And the Giants and the offensive line did a very great job. Now, yes, there were some blunders here and there. But overall, Daniel Jones looked to come in the pocket. Daniel Jones was under the rest sometimes, but not a lot of times. Way less than he was last week versus Philly. And Daniel Jones played some good ass football yesterday. And I don't care what nobody says. I, I really don't at this point. Each and each and every game, Daniel Jones just makes almost every single supporter of him look even more smarter than the haters. Chris Collinsworth is going up there, basically calling him like a game manager. I'm seeing people, you know, saying that DJ, what can I say? He didn't really do much last night. I'll put it this way. Daniel Jones led the offense in the first half, and then Saquon Barkley led the Giants offense in the second half. That's basically what it was for the Giants offense in total. He was dominating them up that whole half. Did you see the 98-yard drive? Tressway punting with his like his life is on the line, has the Giants at their own two-yard line. Daniel Jones sits back and says, What he he goes back and just says, It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I got you. I got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. We can put some points up on the board. Fourth and nine. Let's talk about fourth and nine. So all of a sudden we hear that, oh, Brian Dable and Mike Kafka, they don't trust Daniel Jones. They don't trust Daniel Jones. They're not sitting back and throwing the ball 50 times. They don't trust Daniel Jones. On fourth and nine, they put the ball in Daniel Jones' hands and he delivered. If that didn't show you how Brian Dable and Mike Kafka feel about Daniel Jones, they wouldn't even did it. It's fourth and freaking nine. Why would they go for it on fourth and nine if they don't believe their quarterback can get that first down? Tell me that. Tell me that. Daniel Jones is my guy. Love Daniel Jones. I think he will be back. I do, but nobody knows. But I think this game, being the most important game of his career, a game that had playoff implications. And Daniel Jones coming up big on primetime in front of the world. He showed out. He showed out. Not a lot of guys could have did what Daniel Jones did last night with the weapons. Richie James, I want to clap up for Richie James real quick. Richie James balled out last night. I got, I can't lie. He balled out. Isaiah, Isaiah Hodges made plays. Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley ended up going crazy in that second half. Like I said, he led the Giants offense in that second half. He went stupid. He started to, ooh, ooh. Did he hit a little, a little spinny spin? That's when we knew Saquon Barkley was back. He started juking out John Bostick. Man, his butt hit the turf. He scorched earth trying to tackle Saquon Barkley. And he got a big run and another big run and another big run. Saquon Barkley had that burst. Saquon Barkley had that speed. Saquon Barkley looked like the Saquon Barkley from early on in the season. I think we got Saquon Barkley back, ladies and gentlemen. I already talked about the office line. The office line actually held up. They played with the game plan. Ben Burson came in there and made a big difference. He made a real big difference. Hopefully, we get to see more Ben Bredis in action at guard. I don't care if it's left guard, right guard. I don't care. I need to see some more Ben Bredis in. And as soon as we can get him at a full snap count, I need him in. I do. Now, let's switch over to the defense. Let's talk about the defense. Let's talk about... I got I to take him off again. I got to take him off again. I got to take him off again about this. Kayvon Thibodeau. Kayvon Thibodeau, Big Tibbs, the closer, the can opener, whatever you want to call him, 
stalled out last night. I don't got the stats in front of me, but he filled up the stat sheet. He came up when it mattered the most. He was a guy that scored the first touchdown in the game for both teams. Was constantly getting back there. Made a game-saving play. Tyler Heineke rolls out of the pocket, looks like he has a free touchdown, and Kayvon Thibodeau comes in there and stops him short from the touchdown. That can't go unnoticed. Kayvon Thibodeau has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. He has arrived. And everyone who was calling him a bust, everyone who was calling him a bust, what after, I don't know which game, after the Texans game, the Jaguars, whatever, whoever, if you called him a bust, keep that same energy. Keep the same energy. Don't try to jump on the bandwagon now. He was on the bandwagon when we drafted him. He goes out and doesn't have, you know, um, what he does become Michael Parsons in his first season. Everyone calls him a bust. Oh, now that he's balling out, now that he's showing you why he was took it with the fifth overall pick, now he's showing why he should have been probably the number one overall draft pick in the past year's draft. Now you want to act like you were all over him after you were just calling him a bust. So stay on that side. Kayvon Thibodeau is a beast. Kayvon Thibodeau is showing you early on in his career that he is going to be a problem for years to come for this New York Giants team. I am so proud of him. I had the jersey on last night. I felt proud to be a New York Giants fan, and I felt damn proud to watch Kayvon Thibodeau play some football. He was back there in the run lanes. He was getting tackles for loss. He was all over the place. We had him dropping back in coverage. He did it all last night for this New York Giants team, and I cannot let that go unnoticed on this channel. I'm not going to leave this video without you knowing that Kayvon Thibodeau balled out. Even as a vocal leader, he balled out. I don't know if you've seen the video yet or anything like that, but it's a video of him just hyping up the defense before the game. Sergeant Barkley came out there and just said that he brought in all the teammates together and told them that basically, we got to get it done. And he's a rookie doing this. So I love Kayvon Thibodeau. I love the personality. I just love how he balls out. I love the effort that he puts up on that, on that field, man. I love it. Ojalari came up big. It was on the last drive. They were in the red zone. He he had a play where he made Taylor Heineke throw the ball away. Dexter Lawrence, big time sack fumble. The Giants are able to recover that. The defense, for most part, played damn well. And this is without Azir McKinney. This is without the starting safety for this New York Giants team. This is without Adore Jackson, the number one corner on this team. This is a defense that's going out there with Fabian Moreau, Zion Gilbert, a rookie in quarter flat who I like, and Nate McLeod. Those are the corners that we're rolling out there without a Dory Jackson. Those are the guys. And this defense, week after week, makes some plays. They make plays. And last night, they made some big plays last night for this Giants team. I love it. I love it. You know, if you are a Giants fan, and there are some Giants fans that, you know, they are not happy that the Giants are winning games. They want a quarterback that bad that they are they are mad that the Giants just might make it to the playoffs after winning last night's game. And if you are that way, I ain't going to tell you how to be a fan of your team. I'm not going to do that. But to me, you're not a real fan. If you don't want your team to win, you're not a real fan. Who cares if we got to face San Francisco? Who cares if we got to face Minnesota? We got Minnesota this week. And then we got the Colts the week after that. We got more games to play before we start thinking or worrying about who we got to face in the playoffs. Take it week by week, game by game, and let's see how it all plays out. But that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say, man. The New York Giants are back in the win column, baby. The New York Giants, look, they're about to make the playoffs. Lock in. Daniel Jones, primetime dimes, baby Josh Allen. Number eight. My savior balled out last night. Saquon Barkley <laughs> had guys look, give him a map. He had them Washington defenders looking like they was lost without a compass, no map, no nothing. Help him out. Kayvon Thibodeau. <sighs> what can I say? That hasn't been said already. He's a baller. He's a beast. He's a man amongst boys. Balled out. What else do we got to say? But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you love Giants football. And after last night's game, 
I'm pretty sure you like some Giants football. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, hit that like button. Go ahead, sound off in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Give me your thoughts. How you feeling after that big Giants dub versus the Lamanders? But that's going to do it. Until then, it's been your boy Jay Downs. We'll be back at it tomorrow with another video. And that's going to do it. Go Giants. We out.